What's up, everybody? It's Wick here, and I'm about to start my morning, 7.40. Got some milk and a mozzarella cheese stick. It's got to last me through the garage sales. There's only five today. And I'll probably hit Walmart and a few, two Goodwills and Salvation Army, probably. Walmart supposedly supposed to have some Legos on clearance. We'll see. I never usually find them. Uh, the store just have three in stock. But I'll check why I'm out. And uh, hopefully we'll make some money. So this first sale had a lot of fishing rods. Uh, based on what I know about fishing rods and, and reels, there weren't very good ones there. And uh, he had these uh, containers here of fishing lures. They're priced $15 each. Uh, unfortunately, I just don't know enough about lures and name brands. I know a few, uh, and I don't know what to look for, vintage, you know, what condition, all that stuff. So it's something I've been researching and at $15 a box, I just didn't want to mess with it and take the time to look up each individual one. So it's definitely something I'm going to be researching and trying to learn more about. So this guy had a bunch of the M&M dispensers. Uh, unfortunately, they were in kind of rough shape. I've sold quite a few of these on Amazon through FBA, and they can sell anywhere from 50 to 80 bucks, depending on which one. If these, uh, I'm pretty sure they're mostly used too, but if they would have been all in you know, good condition, that could have been a really good score. He also had a, a bit high of a price on them, so it's unfortunate. So I spotted this and was pretty happy because I knew it had some value. Wasn't sure how much, but it had the headset and everything. Buy it, get it in the car, flip it over to look up the model number. It was in the battery case. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? Oh well, I don't know if I can get any money out of it or I can get them back cheap or something. But at least the earbuds here, when I find another one, it'll be great to bundle with it. Uh, probably worth pick, still picking up for two dollars. I can probably still sell it and make some money at two, but we'll see. I got I get too excited and I make these weird purchases, but uh, I have to wait to 8:30 now to the next sale. 8:30 is a weird time to start, but uh, of course it's on the other side of town, so it's a 10-minute drive. I guess I should just head over there two sales next to each other. I'm pretty sure I've been there before. They have just a bunch of like collectible NASCAR stuff usually. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's those sales, so we're going to go anyway. Morning. These were the sales I thought they were, uh, just basically collectible stuff. You see all the license plates there? I don't know anything about license plates, but I was here a couple years ago, and this guy had pretty much the same stuff. And um, it's something I never looked up. If I see something that's pretty unique, a license plate, like I don't even know what it would be. It's another thing I don't know a whole lot about, but I don't think uh, most of them sell for that much, so... 
uh, especially if they haven't sold. If he's having a sale every year and they're not selling, then they're probably not worth it. He had a generic MP3 player there too, and he had $10 on it. So the prices were high here. Um, it's unfortunate. Right now, it's great. In the background there you can see a uh, wetsuit so I went ahead and looked up it's O'Neill some of the O'Neill wetsuits can be good uh, this one I didn't find the exact one but similar ones just weren't worth it they were like 20 25 bucks max and I can't remember what was what the price was even if there was a price on it but I, I decided against it So this sale was randomly on the side of the road and I stopped at it of course to see what they had and uh, I heard one of the women mention that they used to sell at the flea market but they're done and they're just trying to get rid of stuff so right there I'm like eh, I'm not going to really find anything here. There was a sealed reel back there that I spotted but I looked it up on Amazon it was cheaper than what they wanted. I think they wanted like 20 bucks for it. So um, just nothing here, unfortunately. I asked if they had any old video games, and there was an instant no. <laughs> Before I could even finish, like, they, they're just used to hearing that. So, um, yeah, you're not going to find stuff at every sale, that's for sure. And people that are already resellers, you're not going to usually do too well from them. So here's something I didn't even look up because of the price. They had $20 on it as an old Bearcat scanner. I was just getting frustrated and um, being that high, it's just like, I don't even want to deal with this. I just, this was my last sale. But uh, I decided to look it up here as I was editing the video and it does sell for about 60 bucks. So it wouldn't have been a terrible buy, but I still probably would have passed on it at 20 because you don't know if that stuff works. Uh, scanners, it can be hard to test and uh, if it would have been like $5, I probably would have looked it up there. And there's my dad. Uh, I keep running at him at, at sales. He's not finding anything either, so I'm just going to head over to the Goodwill. So, garage sales are over, and this is my massive haul. <laughs> Pretty pathetic. I, mean, I went to in six sales, 
but they just weren't that good. This is missing the, the cover. I looked it up. It's not even worth that much. Um, it's funny because you can sell it with the headphones for like 20 bucks. I guess you can sell for 22. Well, I looked at the headphones individual, and there were some that sold for $20 plus $2 shipping. So I'm going to make at least $10, maybe 20 if I can sell this separately for like 10 maybe. Even then, I don't think it'll sell without the battery case. Maybe I can, this uh, strap is removable. Maybe I can just sell the strap for 10. Somebody will be looking for that. And then uh, sell the headphones. Maybe price them at $19.99 free ship. Make some money. But um, I'm at Goodwill now. I'm gonna hit that. Then we're gonna go to Salvation Army. And then we're gonna hit uh, Walmart. And then a Goodwill. And then maybe uh, the Restore. Habitat for Humanity and see if I can find anything in there. Let's go. Just got a Salvation Army and I picked up these two Eureka vacuum filters. Uh, new, they were 99 cents a piece. I'll make $5 a piece profit in the end on Amazon. So $10 there. Got this horse puzzle, it was $1.99. Uh, selling for like $25 on Amazon with a good rank. So pretty good find there for two bucks. Then at Goodwill, I picked up this handy can opener. Uh, it's $2.99. I almost just left it, but I'll make $5 on that as well. So I had a pretty decent rank at home. But I got this uh, Graco, I guess you how, how you say it, Graco. It's a uh, rain cover for a stroller. Um, looked like it had a kind of a high rank on Amazon, but it was like 60 bucks. And then on eBay, there was one for 77 so I just went and picked it up. It was $2.99. I don't know how much I'll end up getting in the end. I'm pretty sure it's new. It's one of those packages that you can open. So I'll do further inspection. If it's used, you know, I think I can still get some money. But um, I'm off to the next area. So I just popped out of the Goodwill here. And I picked up a Sony Hi8 cam. Pretty good find. It was $10. I don't have a case or a charger. It does have a battery. I got probably four or five camcorders I still need to test. You know what? I think I might do that today. Stop by the garage, I'll pick some up, and then just see if I can cross-test with the batteries, if others have a charger or not. But this thing will sell for as is. Um, well, I don't know about as is. If I can prove it works, it'll sell for about 80, 75, 80 bucks. And if I can get a charger cheap to add to it, I can maybe get up to 120. Pretty good one. I thought this gaming mouse was sealed at first. Unfortunately, it is not. Uh, otherwise, if it was sealed, it'd probably be about a hundred bucks. But open is about twenty, and I just bought it um, to try because it has the extra buttons on the side. I want to see. I want to try a mouse with buttons on both sides like that. So I'll give it a try, and if I don't like it, then I can flip it, make about twelve bucks on it. So um, I think I'm gonna hit restore. It is hot. Um, it's supposed to be in the 90s today, actually about in the 90s for the next two weeks, so I got a long couple weeks ahead of me. But um, I'd, I like the heat more than I do the extreme cold, so I'm not going to complain too much. Let's hit this restore. So here's some footage of me in the restore. If you don't know what a restore is, it's done by Habitat by Humanity. It's basically just where they take donations for home improvement stuff. You can find doors cheap, uh, windows cheap, old stuff. Uh, to make your house unique. Um, sometimes they have good prices. Most of the time I feel like they're, they're really overpricing stuff, but they have a system where st stuff don't sell it ends up being 50% off eventually. So that helps. But uh, yeah, uh, check them out. See if there's any in your area. I am back home, and here's what I got at a restore. Uh, just these steaks, steak kit. Uh, I got eight bags of these. Uh, they're seven fifty, but green was twenty five percent off today. So between all the bags, I say fifteen dollars. Not sure exactly what twenty five percent off is, but uh, I should make ten dollars a bag on Amazon. So that's about eighty bucks. And uh, this was brand new sealed. This was about uh, well, this was twenty five percent off too. It wasn't anything about about it. This sells for, I think it was $27 on Amazon. It's just an address plate. So, should make about $100 by stopping in there. I need to stop in there more often. 
It's usually about once a month, but I should at least go every other week because they can have decent stuff and they usually have three colors and they're either 50% off or 25% off or of course the newer stuff's the normal price. And um, I didn't stop to get the camcorders out of the garage because I forgot I had frozen food and I, well, I stopped at Walmart. By the way, I didn't find those Legos in Walmart. I didn't expect to. But uh, I had frozen food, so I, I couldn't really... It was already been sitting in my car forever. And it was starting to get pretty uh, thawed out. So decided I'll, I'll just come home. So I am going to fix some food and then see what I can do from there. Sold a couple things on eBay, so I'll go ahead and package those to be dropped off in the morning. A uh, calculator here that I paid $5 for at a garage sale, sold it for $29.99. And this baseball DVD set I picked up at a garage sale, paid $4 for, sold it for $24.99. So I'll get those packaged up, and then I'm going to work on my DS because the battery came in that was it was missing the battery and I ordered one and it's here so I'm gonna try testing it not sure what is going on here um, <laughs> put the battery in and basically when I plug it in here I'll do this with one hand it makes shows the light then it goes right off usually that should be flashing showing it's charging uh, has like a light flash when I go to turn it on. Maybe it does need to just charge a little. I don't know. I'll just let it sit for a bit and see. Ah, so I got ten dollars into this thing now and it's not working. Uh, I guess I can sell it for parts and probably recoup some money. Maybe get all of it back. Who knows? Or maybe I can get it to work. So I don't know, I took the battery out, put it back in, and it seems to be charging now, so uh, we'll see in a bit here what happens. And it seems to work. I don't have a game ready right now, um, but uh, I would think it would work fine now, so looks like I'm going to make some money in the end. So just taking a look at crude oil here. Um, if I would have stayed in, if you've been following my vlogs, I've been testing a paper trade and I expected it to get up here, but it is surpassing that. So looks like it's going to break out a bit. Um, I'll wait for the next trade set up. It'll probably be a while before I can get in again because it's got to drop off quite a bit. But, um, pretty cool how trading works and how you can predict stuff based on patterns, but... I'm about to end this blog. Uh, it is, what time is it here? 4.30, that's all it is. I guess I'll get maybe some food and I think I'm going to relax, maybe watch a movie or something. But I want to thank you for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button. Please subscribe so you can see more. And this has been Wick. Until next time.